Hi everyone, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to our Getting Started Apiary which is uh, sited on our allotment here in Norwich. Uh, it's been about seven or eight weeks since I was last up here. Um, as a lot of you know, I've had a, a fairly serious back problem. Uh, I've been to a physio who tells me that it's likely to be a recurrence of a prolapsed disc that I've had, but I'm now up and about and uh, moving around if uh, only a little bit gingerly but uh, hopefully uh, I'm on the mend and I can start to get back into the bees. One of the problems that we've had is that it happened right at the end of the season so early September and as a result of that I wasn't able to get out and feed the bees as much as possible and through the season where I was looking after the bees here in the apiary on a weekly basis we've not actually inspected them towards the end of the season the good news is that the bees had lots of forage and were able to get out onto uh, a lot of late summer and autumn nectar and pollen particularly ivy we have a lot of ivy here in norwich and uh, the bees have been really packing that away one of the issues with ivy is that it does go very hard in the cells so once it granulates it goes really solid so I'm a little bit concerned that we might have some beehives that have got a lot of ivy in that's going to go solid uh, so we'll probably put some fondant on through the winter just to help the bees with some sugar that they can actually utilize uh, quite easily. The problem that we've got here in the allotment apiary is that over the last seven or eight weeks the weeds have grown uh, really quickly uh, as weeds do and I really need to get in and get it tidied so what we're going to do today is move the beehive from the allotment to another apiary site that we've got so that we don't have any bees here so I can clean out this site and we can then bring the bees back uh, perhaps after Christmas and into the new year once we've got everything ready for them for the the coming season. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you how we uh, block up the entrance and strap the beehive together and uh, fortunately I've got some help today so we'll just show you how we do that and then we're going to move the beehive onto the back of the pickup and uh, take it to the new site. So the first thing that I need to do is to just block up the entrance of the beehive and I just use some uh, soft foam for this and use the hive tool to push it into place. So we just pop the foam in front of the entrance and then just use the hive tool to work it into place pushing it in right the way across the entrance so that the bees can't get out while we're in transit we push it in so that it stays in place and then all we have to do is to just take the edge off and that will stay in place quite nicely until we're ready to remove it at the other end. So now that we've got the entrance blocked we're going to use one of these fold over straps and I'll just unwind it. So the batteries in the microphone failed yet again so I'm having to just quickly do a voiceover but the straps that I've got there the orange one comes from Thorn Beekeeping Supplies you can find them on their website and you simply slide it under the floor of the beehive making sure that the strap is positioned somewhere in the middle of the floor and that the blue metal clasp comes up and sits nicely on top of the roof. Once you've got the nylon webbing uh, on top of the roof with the blue metal clasp it's simply a case of threading the nylon webbing through the metal S shape and then it will pull over quite nicely and that then tightens down onto the roof and pulls the webbing nice and tightly so that it holds the uh, hive tightly together. At this point you just need to thread the orange webbing through the gap in the blue metal clasp and slide the blue metal strap beneath the webbing and that will hold it in place and stop it from undoing and then simply coil up the rest of the webbing and uh, tuck it down the side 
so that it's nice and secure and ready for transportation. Okay, so we've managed to bring the beehive over to the pickup. We've got another hive here that we're moving as well. Um, it's a really heavy beehive, this one. So the bees on the allotment here have packed away lots of stores for the winter. So that's good news. A bit of a struggle coming down the uh, allotment path, but we're, we've managed to get here safely without any mishaps. So the next thing to do is to take the bees over to our university apiary, uh, where we've already got uh, several beehives and we'll unload it there. So we've had an uneventful journey getting the bees over here. They're nicely strapped up um, and no dramas at all. We've got a site ready for them. We've got a, a slab all set and prepared, ready to unload. Um, it's a bright but very chilly day today. Uh, it's the 5th of November, so happy Guy Fawkes Day. And um, uh, I thought I'd um, just display my T-shirt which you can get off the website, but from today onwards, I think it's going to have to be uh, hoodies, sweatshirts and coats because it is really quite cold. So um, do take a look at the website and have a look for the T-shirts if you're looking for maybe a, an early Christmas gift. Right, so we're going to undo the straps and get the hive off the back of the pickup and onto the stand. So we've got the hive on the stand and then we can just unclip the straps. And then by lifting the back of the stand, we can slide the strap out. So we've moved the pickup out of the way and all that remains is just to remove the foam from the entrance uh, and once that's done the bees are then going to be happy here for the winter and we can then get back to the allotment and get that tidied up ready for next spring. Finally uh, before we take the foam out I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all of your very kind messages of support that you've sent me while I've been going through this uh, recovery period with my back. Uh, hopefully now we can get back out and do a few videos over the winter and then once the season starts again next spring we can get back into producing lots more videos for you. Um, so uh, without further ado let's take out the foam and thanks for watching.